Good morning, everyone. So today is Saturday, May something. It's May something. And it is the beginning of a new vlog. It is still raining outside, and if you guys saw my last vlog, then you knew that it was raining all week. But that's okay, because today I'm going to be baking, and that's the basis of literally today. Um, I'm going to run out and get a few things here in just a bit. Um... I wanted to make some lemon bars. Like if you guys have ever had Sopapilla cheesecake, then you know like one, how good it is. But also, but also it's super easy to make and I wanna do something that's like kind of summery and still kind of fresh and citrusy. So I was scrolling on Instagram and found a recipe for some lemon bars that are just like Sopapilla cheesecake. So that's what I'm going to make today and then I have to pick up a few more things from the store. I did just wanna go ahead and get the vlog kicked off. Again, I'm not going to be doing much today because it is still raining. I'm watching a very cheap movie on Tubi, which I love Tubi movies. I'm not ashamed to admit that I love cheap, terrible movies. Um, so I will watch those all Saturday if I could. But yeah, I'm going to run out, get that stuff, come back, bake it, and then probably watch the rest of the movie. And then I might come back on later for dinner. I'm thinking about just doing like pizza or something that's like easy at home. Um, so that it's just like a nice kind of rainy Saturday in. But anyways, I'm going to head out. I'm glad that you guys have joined this vlog. If you guys are new here, thank you for joining my video. This is a vlog, so you probably have absolutely no idea who I am. But hit the subscribe button down below and kind of figure out more. I'm gonna go ahead and go, and I will see you guys um, in the next clip. Here we go. This is what the lemon bars look like. They, like, again, like, it's so a cheesecake, but it's got the cream cheese filling. So I'm gonna make these and pick this stuff up at the store. Okay, so I'm back from the store. It's actually been a minute since I've been back from the store. And I'm about to make the bars. I just took it out. I feel so, so much better. Anyways, I'm about to make the bars. And you know, I said that they're lemon bars. Guess who didn't pick up another lemon? So I'm gonna have to use like orange and <laughs> figure out like how to kind of mix it together. But I'm about to get started on that. Um, and probably go back to sleep, honestly. This weather sucks. Hey guys, so today is Monday. I did not vlog yesterday. Um, I was busy with church and um, Mother's Day activities, but today is Monday. It's actually the afternoon right now. You guys just saw me um, kind of get my apartment or whatnot ready for the day. Um, I spent a little time in devotion today, just doing like a book, going through a book and kind of doing more like Breathing or meditation exercises, just focusing on God's word. Um, so that's what I did for like the later part, the latter part of the morning. This morning I woke up in a good mood. I've actually been needing a good mood um, 
to happen. So I'm hoping that this week there's just great news. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm just going to go through this email, kind of figure out like specifics, get some ideas down, and then get ready to kind of start using this product. Um, and just getting all the details worked out. But I'm going to go ahead and go through this, like I said, get some ideas together. Um, and then I'm probably going to have lunch, but I don't think there's really much else today. Again, today's kind of another chill day. It's just Monday, so just easing into, uh, just easing into the new week. Oh, it's raining again. It has been raining nonstop. It is raining again. But yeah, I'll come back on if there's any other update. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys. So, content planning is done, and it is now 3.58. It didn't take like too much time, but I'm kind of glad it took like the latter part of the afternoon just because I wasn't doing anything else. But I'm just going to kind of sit back and relax now. I'm watching a movie on YouTube called, or no, I'm watching a movie on Tubi again. Don't hate me. Actually, like terrible movies are part of who I am. I just love watching them. Um, but I'm watching this movie called Ambitions right now until I like make dinner, but I'll probably catch you guys. If not later tonight, it'll probably be tomorrow morning. I'm going to start filming again, like I said, for that brand tomorrow morning. So you guys will probably see the product then. I'm just going to kind of relax the rest of the day. I do not feel like doing anything else. I don't know what's wrong with me or what's gotten into me. But I will catch you guys tomorrow whenever it is a fresh start to the day. The content planning actually didn't go too bad. It kind of went as planned. I've got some good ideas for some things coming up. Um that I want to use the product for. I'm just gonna, like I said, call it a day for today. I've been productive. Today's been good. Hopefully the week kind of continues the same uh, patterns. Like I said, I will talk to you guys tomorrow and I'm just going to finish this movie. So I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, correction. Ambitions is apparently a TV show. I've never heard of it before, so. That's good. I can consistently keep up on the nonsense of watching this. Good morning, guys. Oh, gosh. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I just woke up, so please excuse my appearance. But right now, um, I just got dressed, put on like my little set, uh, like my workout set, but I'm gonna go on a walk this morning. I have a few things that I do have to pick up from the store after the walk, um, and then I have to, like I told you guys yesterday, I did some content planning, so I have to record um, some content for the brand, which you guys will see today. I have to get some content in today, so I'm gonna kinda like hurry back home, finish up the rest of my morning routine, um, and then, get started on that but I will see you guys throughout the rest of the morning I'm gonna take you guys on the walk with me but I just wanted to go ahead and say good morning to you guys I hope everyone's day is going well um, today so far so good so I will see you guys in a bit Hey guys, I am back from my walk. Um, I've already gotten showered, worked out, um, all that. I am in such a bad mood right now and I cannot tell you why and I don't even know if I know why. It's just so annoying. If you guys ever feel like that or you feel like you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you can't pinpoint why you're angry or why you're sad or whatever the case is, how, how do y'all get past that? Because I pray, I do all that, but I'm just still like in a, I'm in a bad mood, but Right now, like I said, um, I mentioned earlier that, I mentioned earlier before my walk that I have some content to film for a brand um, that sent a product over to me, which again, I'm excited about. So I'm trying to like lift my spirits up, but it's hard right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick video that I'm gonna post on like my YouTube shorts for that. But right now I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing with you guys while I'm vlogging too, so you guys can see the experience and I'll tell you um, my thoughts afterwards, but let me go ahead and head into the kitchen and get it together. Today, I'm making a dirty chai, which I have actually never had before, but I do wanna try it, so I'm gonna try it with this um, product and see how it comes out. Hopefully that puts me in a better mood because I am not, I am not feeling it today. This is the product. It's called Javi, or Javi, like Java coffee, but 
I'm gonna do a quick unboxing to show you guys what the bottle actually looks like, but let me actually, let me unbox and then I'm gonna make the, the content I need. Okay, so Javi reached out to me um, not too far, long ago. You know what, let me set you guys up. Okay, so Javi reached out to me not too long ago asking if I could do a video, if my head's cut off, I'm sorry. Javi reached out to me not too long ago asking if I could do a video on their coffee, which I was really excited about. So cheers to some more hopefully sponsored deals or brand um, collaborations this year. But this is kind of like the unboxing and this is what um, the product is. It's like a coffee concentrate. So instead of like actually having coffee, you just have like the coffee concentrate and then it's like done basically, which is probably the easiest part instead of getting up every morning brewing your coffee, doing all that, and then not like, not wasting time, but you know, taking up a good amount of your time. This is kind of just easy and ready to go. I think it makes it super easy to actually use these for a lot of different recipes. That way you can just kind of store this in your fridge, pour it up whenever you need to, and then pour it up in whatever other recipes you want, whether it's drinks, other recipes, baking recipes, whatever the case is. So I'm really excited about this, and thank you to Javi for reaching out and asking to collab. Oh my gosh, they have a recipe book. I was looking online to see what recipes they have. You know, like things that I can like try differently, but this is absolutely perfect. But like I said, today we're gonna be making a dirty chai, so let's get to it. This is Javi, you've got a little magic that helps you get a lot more done. It's within six weeks of opening, which I'm really bad about. Sometimes if it still tastes good, like I'll still use it. Or if it's like not giving me any reason to worry, I'll still use it. But it says to keep within six weeks of opening, which is fine because I'll probably drink this um, quite a bit. How do I use it? You know what? They have a rest, they have a site, which if you check the description box down below, you can go um, and purchase Javi the Concentrate yourself if you guys are interested and get 15% off whenever you use my code down below. And you can also check and see what recipes you guys might wanna use, which is what I'm about to do now because I need to know how to use it. Let me see. Javi, Javi, Javi. All right, so we've got our milk. We've got our chai concentrate. I'm just using these two the Tazo Chai Concentrate, and then my almond milk, which I wish I had oat milk, but I don't, so just use whatever milk of choice. But let me go ahead and try this out, and then I'll get back with you guys and kind of let you know my thoughts, and then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in bed. Ah! Uh, I always do this. I never, like, screw the cap on all the way after I un, like, after I open a new bottle, it's so annoying. All right, so I'm about to take a quick sip, see how this tastes. Let's see. That's actually not too bad. Um, I'm using about one and a half teaspoons of the concentrate itself. For starters, this bottle is just so cute, and I think it's actually gonna last me a good amount because I'm not a huge, huge just like coffee drinker, but I can get down with actually mixing it with like other concentrates or other um, teas, powders, whatever the case is. So this is actually pretty good. I like it and I think that I could get some pretty good use out of it. It's not too much to where I feel like either it's gonna go bad or it's just like too much for me to like really drink. So I think this is perfect. I'm definitely gonna be probably using this more in my like morning drinks. You guys know I like having my morning drinks if you guys are new here, specifically matcha. I'm gonna try that next with this concentrate, but the dirty chai is good. I'm really glad that I tried it this morning. So I'm just gonna kind of sit down and relax for the rest of the morning um, and I will check in with you guys here in just a bit. Y'all, I don't know why I thought I was about to sit down and like relax for the rest of the morning. I have to actually edit this video um, and get it posted so you guys are gonna see the video you guys are probably gonna see this video before this vlog goes up but 
go check it out if you guys haven't seen it already. Um, so I'm just going to go through editing this um, for the rest of the morning, get it uploaded, and then I will catch you guys with another update once I'm finished with this. So yeah, this was fun. I love doing little projects like this. Okay, guys. So editing for the video is done. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner, which surprise, surprise. I did not go grocery shopping on Sunday, so I have like nothing. I'm supposed to actually be leaving this Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Supposed to be leaving Thursday because my birthday is Friday, so I'm going up to um, Dallas to see some family to hang out with my mommy and my sister for the weekend. So I did not buy groceries because I don't want things like just sitting in my fridge and going bad. I'm trying to figure out what I'm having for dinner tonight because I don't have anything here. So I think salmon bowls sound good. So I think that's what we're gonna have tonight. I didn't want anything like boring and I wanna do something different with salmon. So I think I'm gonna stick to the salmon bowls. Right now I just need to figure out what I need to get before I head to the store, but I'll take you guys with me. Um, just so that you guys can see what I pick up. But yeah, I'm excited. The video turned out great, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get that posted here in a bit. Um, and on my channel. All you lovely folks to see. So let me... Let me figure out what I want, like, in the salmon bowl. I hate going out now in the afternoon. I usually just try to go out, like, in the mornings or the evenings if I can now. It's just getting way too hot. Okay. You know what? I need to probably get this video uploaded now. That way, it is out of the way. So let me go ahead and download this. Okay, guys, so let me turn this off. So I'm gonna head to probably HEB and Whole Foods, like I seem to always do. So HEB and Whole Foods just to pick up what's needed for dinner tonight. I don't feel like doing more stops than that. So that is what I'm gonna stick to, and then I'm probably just gonna get like the salmon and stuff from Whole Foods, and then like any other kind of small staple items and produce, maybe produce from Whole Foods, but maybe some produce from HEB, so. We'll see how this pans out. All I know is that I gotta hurry up because it's way too hot. It is 92 degrees in May. I find that crazy. Of course, of course, have to try new drinks. So I'm either thinking the culture pops, strawberry and rhubarb, or the watermelon lime. I think I'm gonna do the watermelon lime. We'll see. So the one thing I actually needed from H-E-B, or the one thing I actually needed from Whole Foods, they don't even have today, so I have to go to H-E-B, which is fine. I just like getting my salmon from Whole Foods. They have like the best salmon. So off to H-E-B I go. I don't have too many things to get, so it's just an in and out trip, and then I'm back home. I'm probably just going to relax the rest of the time. I feel like I've been doing a lot today, and I don't really think I have, so. I feel like I have to relax. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head home after HEB and I'll catch up with you guys probably when I make dinner.
I'm gonna try this and see how it actually tastes. It's the watermelon lime. They had a strawberry and rhubarb one, but I'm I was more interested in this. So I'm gonna see. This isn't bad. It's a probiotic soda, and I'm just now realizing it. And so it's not like super sweet, which I'm glad about. Oh, the whole thing is 40 calories. So I'm just gonna finish it tonight. But this is good. Pick it up. Hey guys. So it is the next day. As you can tell, um, it's actually the afternoon. I just got done with filming a kind of like everything shower routine, just like a refreshing everything shower routine, which I have to say, I feel refreshed. Um, but I just wanted to hop on to kind of kick today off. I'm about to head out here in a few to kind of get a few things from the store yet again. Um, and then I need to come home and get a few things prepared. I need to pack because I will be leaving tomorrow, like I said. I'll be going up to Dallas to see my mom um, or just my parents and my sister for my birthday. Um, and then I need to paint my toenails because I'm not paying for a pedicure. I'm just not having it right now. But um, I need to paint my toenails and then, like I said, pack. And then I have a nail appointment later today. It's not really an appointment. I'm just going to walk in. Um, and uh, I need to kind of figure out what design I'm going with. But I think that I want to keep it simple and probably just do like probably just do like a French tip. Haven't decided on the shape whether it's going to be square or more like kind of ballerina almond shape. So I guess I'll kind of narrow that down today. But I did just want to come on, say good morning, say hello. I'll probably catch you guys um, after the store just because I probably am not going to take you guys with me today. Um, it's just like a really quick errand. But I do have to say I love how my skin looks. Like I said, I just filmed a refreshing kind of, not get ready with me, but like a refreshing shower routine. So if you have not seen that, it will go live before this. Go check it out. And I'll put it somewhere up here. But my skin feels really refreshed. I feel like it looks dewy. I tried two different things in my skincare routine, which I don't usually do. I just usually do one thing at a time. But today it was a um, facial scrub from Sakin, I think. Sukin. Sukin. Um, and then I tried the Apto, I think. You guys will see it. But I tried the Apto Witch Hazel and Turmeric Spray, which I feel is like what's making my skin like super bright. Um, and just kind of like dewy right now. I love this and I feel I just feel heavenly with all this white on but but yeah So I feel I feel great today. I'm about to make some matcha before I head out So you guys might see that I know you're probably tired of seeing me make matcha, but matcha is my go-to So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready and then head out before it gets too hot Hey guys, so I just got back not too long ago um, and had some lunch right now. Like I said before, when I got back, I wanted to paint my toenails and stuff um, before my appointment this evening, but right now I need to kind of get a few things together because I'm gonna be on the road tomorrow. So I wanna get a few things together for the video that's supposed to go live on Friday. I'm just going to um, do what I can now and then probably do my, my like, nails and stuff here in a bit but it's hot outside like I immediately walked outside started sweating which is probably like TMI but whatever so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this work on the thumbnail really because the thumbnail is usually what takes me the longest I'm always trying to figure out like like and it could be like the smallest change but I just want it to be perfect so I'm probably gonna do that um, and like I said work on some editing so I don't have to do too much of that whenever I get in tomorrow but yeah Spirits are kind of lifting, sort of. I did just want to take a minute to kind of um, talk about a few things. So, like I said, my birthday is actually tomorrow, and I will be 25. It's like, wow, can you believe it? And the only thing, for some reason, that I'm thinking of right now is how my college and production is going to, like, go away. Like, out of all things, that's what I'm thinking about when I turn 25 tomorrow. But apart from that, I also kind of wanted to take a minute to just kind of reflect on some things, which I think that I want to try to be cognizant of every birthday but particularly this birthday this year which I haven't gone into much detail about this year has not actually been the best for me at all um it's it's actually been pretty rough um despite you know growing my my channel um you know a little bit here at a time that's kind of been a, a big highlight but this year has, has been a bit rough um, but I don't want that to neglect or take away from the fact that I'm still here another year, thank God. 
still here another year. Um, still want to be grateful for the things that I do have and the people that I do still have in my life. Um, and still being able to, you know, still be able to live my life, um, which is not something everybody gets. So I do want to just kind of talk through that um, and just kind of remind myself as well as anybody who feels like they need to hear that to be grateful in all circumstances, but um, be extra, extra grateful um, <laughs> on your birthday, which I'm sure I probably don't need to tell that to everyone, um, but to the ones that do need to hear it. Be grateful one and then also take a second and kind of look back on far, how far you've come last year i mean obviously i was in a different place i just turned 24 but a lot of things have happened in the span of a year that i just have not um i guess i just never thought that i'd really go through or be here in this particular um place sorry i'm trying not to cry um but as I'm working through it, I'm having to kind of take a step back and realize or give myself a little bit of grace and realize that where I am now is where I'm supposed to be. God's not done with me. <laughs> and two and three, you know, I think sometimes we get so into our heads or so like beat ourselves up so much that we might not realize how far it is that we've come or how much we've grown in a particular season. And this season from January to now, I have definitely had my fair share of stretching and trying to grow, um, not only in my faith, but also just me as a person. And it's taught me so much lessons that I definitely will hold on to going into next year and for the rest of my life. Um, but I think it's really important to really kind of give yourself grace, meet yourself where you're at and basically, and just appreciate how far it is that you have come. Um, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Um, I know I'm like ranting and just talking on and on and on, but um, that just came to mind and something that I want to really focus on tomorrow. So I have four hours to drive. So I have four hours to just be by myself and kind of just reflect. But I'm actually really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead, be quiet. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and do the edits on this thumbnail for the... Um, video that will go live on Friday, but I just wanted to talk to you guys really fast. I hope that you know that even if you feel like you're not doing a good job or if you feel like you haven't grown the way that you want to or you're not in a place that you want to be, it is okay. You are still growing and please still give yourself credit for that. Um, and with that, I feel like I'm about to cry for some reason. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna catch up with you guys here in a bit. Okay guys, so it's actually been some time um, that has passed, but right now. Okay you guys, so it has actually been some time. I feel like I've been like on my couch this entire week, but, or at least when I come talk to you guys, but it has been some time. So right now I'm just trying to figure out like what, cause I'll be going to the nail salon in about an hour. So, I'm thinking, oh, it's really cute. I'm on Pinterest and getting like distracted. Um, so I'm thinking that, um, so I'm looking at the nails that I want to um, get done and coming up to a few. There's one in particular that I'm just like feeling right now. So like I wanna keep things simple um, I don't want to like do too much with my nails. I want to keep things like nice and sleek. So I'm probably, like I said, just going to do a French tip. So I'm thinking this, do you guys still show your nails like, like pictures? I remember when I was younger and I used to get my nails and I would be like, I want my nails like this. Like it was, I love showing them my nails and I would keep it up so they could like remember it. Cause I didn't want any mess ups, <laughs> but, um, I'm thinking like this, just something that's very sleek, um, kind of like natural looking. So I'm probably going to go with that, but I'm looking forward to it. It's been a minute since I've had my nails done, it's like a few months, and I used to get them done fairly regularly, and I want to get back into that habit, but um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the appointment. I'll probably see you guys there film like a little bit while I'm there. Maybe not. I might just catch you guys after, but 
I will see you guys in a bit with new nails. <laughs> Nails are done. I love them. I always love coming to this place because the same lady that does my nails does an immaculate job every time she does them. I haven't been here in a minute, but I love them every time she does them. Now time for the big reveal. I had to record on my phone when I was in there to show you guys like my before, but it's not a huge reveal. I already told you guys what it was that I was getting and what it was going to look like, but here it is. Ew, my nails look so old. Okay, don't don't mind all like the oil on my fingers. It's just cuticle oil, but this is the don't mind all the nails. Don't mind on the oil on my cuticles. It's just like cuticle oil, but this is the final look. It's very clean and simple. And this is what we're going with. I feel like I'm like doing that to my hand, but this is what we're going with. It's a super cute, just kind of like short square look, and it kept everything nice and sleek and clean. I feel like my fingers look like so old and aged, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love getting my nails done. It's one of my favorite uh, services. Nails and hair, but I haven't got my hair done in forever. So I'm about to head to the grocery store real fast and then head home. I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow morning before I get on the road. I'll probably just be like editing tonight, but I will see you guys later. Good morning, guys. Today is my birthday, and it's Thursday, actually. Um, so... I just got finished um, kind of waking up for the morning, getting myself together. I did um, take a nice long shower just to indulge a little bit, but I'm about to head on the road. It is currently 10.21, so I'm going to head on the road here in a bit. I'm going to drop my son off further, and then I will head to Dallas. I wanted to check in with you guys for the day um, before I did hop on the road. I need to unload my luggage. Not unload, I need to load my luggage into my car, which I kind of don't feel like doing because it's like, it gets so hot in the mornings and I just don't feel like getting hot. I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, here in just a bit, get some gas, like I said, and then I will catch up with you guys probably in the car since it's gonna be like a four hour drive. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys then. All right guys, I'm about to head out. Um, I just dropped off what I needed to. I just dropped off my kiddos, so I'm about to head out here in just a second. I have this energy drink, which I'm glad I have it because I worked out a little bit this morning and I'm kind of not getting sleepy. Don't ever sleep and drive on the road. Um, but I just want to make sure I am like energized. So it's this Alani energy drink. I've actually never tried this before, so we're gonna see how it actually tastes. I've never. I'm not a huge energy drink person. But I feel like these are pop they're not like Red Bulls and Monsters. I used to drink Monsters when I was like in middle school, which is kind of crazy when I think about it. But um, I just feel like this is going to be a little bit softer on my stomach and not like super harsh or give me like a buzzkill or just kind of totally give me like an energy, um, energy crash. So we will see. It's got zero sugars, 10 calories in each can. So that is perfect in my book. So... We're about to try this now, um, and then, like I said, get on the road. I need to pick up my jams and my podcast and have that all lined up so that I don't have to mess with my phone when I'm driving. I hope you guys can hear me. Like, I don't know if the air conditioning is too loud. Oh, my gosh. And the one that I got is the mimosa um, flavor, which I guess is just, like, orange or whatever else is in here. So let's see if I can open it. I'm not messing my nails up. Okay. Ooh. That's pretty good. Actually, let me go and pick up my playlist. I'm probably gonna be listening to a lot of snow. Do you guys have a particular person that you listen to when you're on the road? Or like podcasts that you listen to whenever you're just like super busy? Or if you're not busy and you have like mindless activities like driving or washing dishes or just 
chores around the house. I am trying to get that playlist or lineup together so I don't really have to fool with much. Okay, let me go and get this together. Um, and yeah, peace. Okay guys, ooh, ooh. All right guys, I'm back home. Um, yeah, I just got done um, coming back from Target. So yeah, I just got back from Target. I had to run out really quickly whenever I did get in. Um, I picked up a few energy drinks because my gosh, that stuff actually works. And I used to always think they'd like never wear it for me, it's not gonna do anything for me, but it actually did, especially this one. I got more Alani and I still have um, some of what I did not drink because I didn't drink the whole thing and I, I feel up. Picked up some more Alani at Target and this is the one that I got. I have the Celsius back here because I'm going to try it tomorrow. Never had Celsius before but the Alani, you guys saw me drink the mimosa earlier and then I'm going to have the peach some point this weekend too. So I'm showing you guys my drinks but I don't know, I'm kind of excited. like. I love finding things that actually work for me, and if this works for me without me getting sleepy throughout the day, this is perfect. And I like how many calories are in it, and I think I like the ingredients that are in it. So we'll see if I continue with my energy drink adventure, but so far, so good. I really like Alani. Obviously, I like the mimosa flavor, but yeah, we will see. So I think it's going to be really good. I don't know if I'm going to have them every day, but definitely a few times throughout the week because I tend to get like unreasonably sleepy out of nowhere sometimes. And it just makes sense because I feel like I get good rest. I think I'm gonna go out for dinner tonight with my parents. I don't know what we're having. We're probably just gonna do like crab or like seafood. So we'll probably do that. I don't know if I'll take you guys with me. I might just show like what it is that we get, but that's all that I'm doing for the rest of the day. Today actually has been really nice. It's probably been one of the better birthdays that I've had and it's not because like I've done stuff or I have like a ton of stuff planned but because I feel like I mentioned earlier I was able to kind of sit back and intentionally think about my year you know my year kind of wrapped whatever type of thing basically do like a year in review of my year 24 so um cheers to 24 on to 25 and I hope that I'm able to achieve my goals experience lots of love, have prosperity, peace, blessings. I'm excited, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning, probably if I don't take you guys with me tonight to dinner. All right guys, so it's the next day, as you can tell. Um, I don't have like too much that I'm doing today. I do have a few errands to run before later. If you guys did not know, or if I hadn't told you, I'm going to a ballet tonight. So I haven't been to ballet since I was like a little girl, but this is um, something new. It's not really like anything I've like done before or typically do, so. I'm excited to go, but I'm going tonight with my mom and my sister. Um, but I do have a few errands that I have to run um, earlier this morning, so that's what I'm gonna take you guys um, with me to do. I'm probably gonna end the vlog after today, just so I can get it prepped and ready to go and upload it on Sunday for you guys. I need to get some earrings. I want silver earrings, and I feel like I've been wearing these like gold hoops or just like gold accent pieces like a lot lately, so I'm gonna look for something silver. Then, See if I can find a dress or something to wear. I have something now that I'd like to wear, just kind of like a simple jean look um, with like a satin shirt and some uh, mules. But I'm gonna try to look around and see if I can find anything else. Yeah, not too much to do like this morning. I do have some editing that I have to do for the video that's supposed to go live actually today, so I need to hurry up and get on that. But that's basically it take you guys with me on the errands and then probably in the video after today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record at the ballet tonight, but I will see. But yeah, I'm about to head out. I got my Celsius as you guys saw this morning. This is the mango passion fruit one. So we're about to try it out together. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It tastes like, um, it tastes like peppers. 
And I like that. Yeah, so I do have to probably like hurry up and speed this vlog along, so I don't know how much more filming I'm gonna get because I, for some reason, did not pack any batteries with me and I didn't pack a battery charger, so. Y'all are about to get bits and pieces, maybe? Or I can just like record on my phone, but the quality won't be as good, so. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm about to head to um, the store, like I said, do some of these errands, um, and I'll come back with you guys in a bit. I really don't like this. Oh, I have to go inside and get another. Thankfully, yesterday I picked up two more Alani's, which I prefer the taste of those, obviously. I picked up two more of those. So I'm just gonna go back inside and get another one because this is disgusting. Like, absolutely disgusting. I hate this. I'll try Celsius again, but this flavor is absolutely no. Guys, just drink this. I'm telling you now, that mess was disgusting. The mango passion fruit one, though. Let's see. Let me try the juicy peach today. All right, let me try the peach. This better be good. I tried the mimosa one yesterday and I like that, so I'm hoping I just like Alani products, that way I know which one to like stick to. Let's see. So much better. Alani it is. I have another Celsius that I picked up at home. I'll try that when I get back. But for the most part, at least I know I can trust Alani. We'll see, but let me go ahead and go. The lighting in here is so bad. I just finished up at Ross, but Guess what I found? Do you guys remember in the last vlog I had these, the like organic kind of plantain chips? They're usually like, I got them from Whole Foods last time. They were like $8, $8 or so. I got them for three, so I'm very happy. I'm just gonna eat these a little bit, and then I have one more stop to Target, and then I need to go home and like edit quickly. Okay. These bags are super cute, and I kind of want to get one for my trip next month, but I just think that, like, where I'm going to use this again. I really like this one. Very cute. I'm trying to even choose between these two. I think I'm going to go with, like, the green one. These are absolutely adorable. Just because I think this is going to go with more of what I have. Actually, I'm lying. I'm gonna go with the orange. Yeah, I'm gonna do orange. These are so cute. Like, $10 for this? Yes. 